hello everyone so in my previous video we are done with the place function and uh, pack function also and now we are going to focus on the uh, third one that is the grid function so we will just read out some uh, description of a grid function first and then we will check the uh, program based on this uh, grid function the grid geometry manager uses the concept of rows and columns so here we i think you all know excel sheet it has like cell okay and when i say particular cell it is on x axis as well as on y axis excel sheet so here it is also same concept that uh, it uses the concept of rows and columns to arrange the widgets each row and column in the grids is identified an index by default first row with the index number 0 and then second row index 1 and so on the index of rows and columns in a grid don't have to start at 0 in addition row and column index can have gaps also you can have a grid whose column index are 1 2 uh, 10 11 and 12 to place multiple widgets in a cell okay so now this is very important because uh, afterwards we are going to use the frame also so to place multiple widgets in a cell we use frame or label frame to wrap the widgets and place the frame or label frame on the cell so this is a description of grid function now setting up the grid you will need to configure the rows and columns of the grid so tkinter provides you with the two methods for the configuration of grid rows and columns first one see container container dot if it is column column configuration or row configuration both will have index or width so the column configuration method will configure the column index of grid and same way obviously row configuration will configure the row index of a grid and the meaning of weight weight determines how wide the column will occupy or row which is relative to other columns for example column with a weight of 2 will be twice as wide as column with the weight of 1 now coming to the next concept that is padding to add paddings between the between the cells of a grid we use pad x and pad y options so here you all can see we have a grid in which first we are writing column then we are writing row then we can have a sticky that is uh, uh, north east uh, west wherever you want and then pad x and pad y okay but but this add paddings is between cells of a grid that is very important but to add paddings within the widgets itself within then we can use ipad x and ipad y so again it is like grid and then first five will remain as it is but we are adding two modes that is i is internal okay for this these are external padding so it does not require any e pad or something like that it is just a pad x and pad y but if it is internal we have to write i pad x and i pad y so this is all about the introduction part now let let us start with the program actually then you will understand more and better way so from take inter we are importing everything root window geometry title resizable if you want uh, otherwise uh, like uh, if you want to resize your window then you can resize your window also uh, huh, this is what about uh, configuration of grid root dot column configuration column configuration if it is zero column one column okay means index number this is index number zero index number one so if index number zero will have weight equal to one and index number one will have weight equal to what three now our program is for username label and username text box right now obviously we have not started or covered entry box okay basically it is a text box only we have also not started button but obviously to understand the concept of grid i have used this entry and button but don't worry in my next video when we will be starting with the widgets separately i will make one a video for entry as well as button so right now what is the meaning of this two line okay 
we are creating label now i think you know how to create a label and then using grid as a geometry manager column equal to 0 row equal to 0 and uh, sticky equal to w and we are giving padding also 5 and 5 and we are creating after label we are creating entry or text box and again it is a grid form so column equal to 1 row equal to 0 sticky pad x pad y now same thing for password also okay but only thing is in password uh, obviously if it is a text box okay then entry and whatever you will enter okay so it should display or show equal to asterisk sign okay not the normal or visible characters it will show in the asterisk sign and this is all about password and this is all about uh, username and and i will uh, come to that point column 0 row 0 means exactly where that i will come to that point for sure okay but when we will execute that time i will come to that point so that time you will get to know properly where, where exactly it is uh, placing that username label username entry box password label password entry box that time you will get to know properly and last one is the login button so we are creating one button we are giving the name also to that button and also it is in the grid form it is in column one but row number three okay so see here you all can see as i said row number zero row number one it does not mean you go in continuation it can have a row number three also row number four also row number five also it can be anything as i said over here uh, we discuss here okay now first of all let's check the output of this control s and f5 okay so see this is your row number zero this full first line this is your row number one and in our program we do not have row number two but we have row number three so it will not uh, uh, leave some extra space for row two it will directly come here as a row three only Second thing is this is your column number zero. Check my mouse cursor. And then this is your column number one. This is index zero column, index one column. Okay, let me uh, do some modification. Like right now the geometry or this uh, size is 240. So let me make this as for example 640 by 400. It will be something different only. See. It's very wide this is row but your first column is very wide you know why because here weight equal to 3 and weight equal to 1 means for column 0 weight 1 but for uh, this uh, column 1 it will weight will be what 3 thrice of this first one and one more thing this is not the compulsory field no so suppose if i require so suppose if i remove okay suppose i have removed not the compulsory okay control s now we are not getting that weight equal to 1, weight equal to 3, it is just a normal things. 1 by 1 it is coming. Okay, so as I said that these are some of the optional fields. Okay, I am talking about this one. They are optional, configure the grid. It is totally on you. Okay, so this is all about the example based on grid function. I think we are done with now all the three geometry manager because they are very important now you only have to decide which one to use okay with which you are comfortable but in some cases we require specific one okay so compulsory we have to use that but in some cases it is like optional we can use any one okay but as a general things obviously if we know all three properly in detail and it is very easy for you all to use in your python program now next video onwards we will start with the widgets one by one we are already done with the label and then we will start entry that is the text box and so on check box and uh, radio button and uh, spin box and uh, scale so many things are there so from next video onwards we will focus on that thank you everyone